Look, we got a cocoony. Uh, yeah, cocoony. What's in there? Ah! Oh no! All right. So it's obvious, I think. This was a. Uh, this is off of that nice uh, large nine horsepower. Very similar to this guy, but has a. Uh, <clears throat> A little better setup in my opinion. That one has the auto magic uh, shoot deflector, which is pretty, pretty sweet, and uh, also has a uh, you know the shoot uh, director on the top there. But what we're after here, besides the belt, is we're going to rewind the uh, pull cord on this or pull start on this. Usually takes about five to six turns. When you find it, after you've broken your uh, your string, you'll find a uh, you'll find your old piece of string hanging in here, and there's a staple that holds that in there. I'm actually going to put a knot on the end of this because that's what I like to do. I'm going to get the. I'll be back. Okay. When you find your uh, unit, pull it off. It's uh, four 10 millimeter uh, nuts that hold this on. Um, you'll find a small rusty staple that's holding the old piece of pull cord in. What I'm going to do is wind this about five or six times, full rotations. One, two, three, four, five, go for number six. All right, huh? all right. Oh, seven's gonna be it. Seven, nope. Eight, all right, well that's as far as it's gonna let me go anyways. Uh, you'll feel the spring in there. Sometimes they click, it'll click. Sometimes you'll pop it out. Uh, what I'm going to do then is stick my screwdriver in there as best as I can. Tip of the trick, you light it on fire, you know. Ooh. Give it a little choop, 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 choop. And then uh, we're gonna aim for the hole. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and put a knot on the end of that as well. Hope that your screwdriver doesn't flop out on you and rapidly uh, wind up in your face. <clears throat> and I'm also going to put the staple back in for whomever decides they want to dilly daddle with it again. Yeah. And at the best, so I'm just going to take a new staple. All right, <laughs> yeah, a new use table, and uh, try to find an arrangement of appropriate tools here without dropping stuff on your toes. I definitely don't want those on this side with tires and crap. I'll do this the way I should have from the beginning. Could have probably made that staple a little shorter. Like I 
so I don't want to put it all the way down because if you put that staple all the way down, the next person that comes along, that poor sap will have a hard time getting it off. So, uh, thankfully, I had enough pull cord there. Let me see if I can find the handle. This young man, very tall, very tall young man, brought over. I know I done seen it out of here. There it is. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother. You know, when you're just tired. <clears throat> Looks like I need some more pull cord because there's definitely not enough pull cord there to do jack crap with anymore. Usually what I do with these is I give it a little pull out so I can try to take up some of that slack on there. Come on. Fingers just don't want to work. My fingers, they don't want to work. This is why you leave yourself a little bit. Come on. I like trying to wrangle in cats. You just, you know, some people replace it and they, they leave that extra bit of string in there and it's just flopping around sits there and flops around and uh you know we want it to fit in there snugly doesn't have to be all ugly hey uh use this to hang a mouse later Can't believe you guys are still watching. Hanging a mouse. Yep. <clears throat> Be a nice guy. Ow, 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 ow. All right, no shenanigans. Yeah, 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 these are actually very nice units. Scoop them. They're not as nice as the Simplicity, though. You guys can look at that Simplicity in my other video. Oh, man, that Simplicity was sweet. Oh, dude, I mean, it's like 30 inches. I don't know, what was it, 30, 36 inch path? And, oh, it was pretty scoop them. I don't <laughs> I don't have enough money to play with big toys. Uh-oh. I got one more down here somewhere. We'll find it then. <clears throat> In the junk. In the junk. Oh. That's off <laughs> my unit back there. <laughs> there it is. I got a break I'm tripping over. Oh. <sighs> yeah, 
up somewhere here. So, back to the original show here. The gentleman brought this in because not only was the starter broken, but he also had a problem with the machine not shooting snow out into, out into the yard. So, unfortunately with these units, You don't get a whole lot of uh, whole lot of adjustment in the actual cable. So there's some there's an adjustment you can make here to make this belt tighter. And uh, on a lot of units, the idler pulley will allow you to move it back and forth. Uh, hopefully you can see that uh, a little bit, so you can actually adjust these in and out to put some extra tension on this. <clears throat> Unfortunately, uh, that belt was to the point where, where it just looked like crap. So, uh, and the other thing too was someone else definitely was in here messing with it because uh, when I pulled the bottom pan off, the belt guard for the drive belt was uh, just laying on the bottom. So uh, the gentleman did say he bought this uh, second hand and you can see someone's got a, you know, a nice little uh, rigmarole there. I mean, that works, works, all right. Oh, so I'll have to try to clear out all the snow blowers and see if we can at least get out in the yard and blow some snow with it while the snow is still here before. All the snow is gone. Shit out of me. Oh, Jared, hopefully that uh, throws better than it did before. I still gotta put the belt cover on it and then uh, we'll get back with you. <laughs> 